Hallo guys, welcome back, welcome to my channel Nihon Kara Konbawa. Herzlich willkommen. So guys, I want to give you an update on Tesla. The ticker is TSLA. I made already here a couple of videos on my channel. I'm also covering Tesla beside the yeah, short squeeze stocks here. I have the official watch list here from YouTube, but I also cover a lot of short squeeze stocks, the so-called member stocks guys here. I call them the hot stocks. If you want to find out what that is, guys, you can join in here the membership, the Elite Circle membership on my channel, guys. So let's start here with Tesla. Yeah, guys, it looks not so good. We have now here a situation that we, yeah, sitting here at the technical level. So I will uh, enable here the drawings in a second. As you know, I never change my charts when I identify here trading patterns, then I stick to that. And most of the time the algos, yeah, holding these lines, these price levels here. But we have now here the chance to see a technical rebound, a small, at least a small technical rebound for Tesla, guys. Everything what I say here is, of course, not a financial advice, guys. I'm not a financial advisor. This is my opinion here based on the chart and based on my experience. So, yeah, guys, when we see here the chart picture here, uh, as, as I said, I enable the drawings in a second. Then we can see we have here a huge gap in the chart. Yeah, so here is a huge gap. You can see that we had here a closing price of $146 and then the price gapped up here in test that was in January 2023. So the price gapped up and we never closed this open gap until maybe today, guys. Yeah, this is how trading works. When I tell you or when I tell people that when we gap up, these gaps have to get filled or let's say the chance that these gaps get filled sooner or later, guys. There is never a time range but sooner or later these gaps have to get filled and the chance that you see, especially down gaps, that they get filled is about 90%, guys, yeah? And that's the problem when someone tell you when Tesla is trading here at $299, so here was the peak in July 2023, one of the peaks, yeah? After we had already here a shakeout or a sell-off, uh, you can see that here until $101, we recovered from there and then you can see Tesla had a very, very nice pump here over the months and years, 193% and when someone tell you when Tesla is trading at $300 and someone tell you that the stock come down back to $120 or even lower, you may not believe it guys, but this is everything based on algos and technicals. And as I said, technically we have much, much more open gaps in the chart. As I said, you can see already here this huge shakeout which we had here in January 2023. Also this shakeout guys closed a lot of open gaps here in the chart. You can see here this move here. Here was one big open gap in the chart here between um, $137 and $144. Of course, we have a lot of open gaps here, but it was the same, guys. Yeah, Tesla traded here at $414, $415 almost. And you can see without no problems, the stock can tank down to $100. So even for a big company here like Tesla with a market capital of $477 also billion, guys, you can see even for a company like that, minus 75% price moves are possible, guys. And this is everything based on technicals. Of course, we have also the situation here for Tesla that we talk about delusion. So they're selling more and more and more shares in the market. So the question is, where is the supply and demand? So where are the buyers waiting and where the sellers are sitting? So we can, of course, use here our chart analyze to identify that, guys. So let's enable the drawings. So guys, this is what I identified here for Tesla. This is my opinion and I'm stick to that. This is also my trading strategy, how I trade Tesla. This is not a financial advice. As I said, this is how I do it. And if you want, of course, you can also try to understand what I draw here in the chart. So we have this new yeah, downtrend channel here for Tesla. You can see since we had here this yeah, all time high split adjusted, of course, Tesla was trading over $1,000, but split adjusted. We have here an all time high now of $414.50. And that was the peak. And since then, Tesla is nothing else doing than lower highs, guys. You can see that we are an absolute downtrend here. Even we break out of this trend channel here to the downside. You can see we have here a trading range. Tesla is bouncing here every time when we hit, especially here, the top of this trend channel, we get rejected. And we have a very strong yeah, seller's liquidity zone. That was also before we had our new all-time high, the seller liquidity zone, guys. We are very strong buy, uh, sorry, selling um, selling price action is ongoing is here between $300 and $260 guys. This is very, very, yeah, this is the zone of the bears. Let's call it like this, a liquidity zone where the sellers are 
selling their position. So be very careful where you buy in. I have here one major price line in the chart, or at least we have to talk about new <laughs> two major price lines here. One of those price levels is $231. So you can see every time when we squeezed over this price range, this act like a support. And now guys, we broke the support. So we are clearly below $231. And that means guys, the next level of support or resistance, depending on where the price is, is $181 guys. This price line here is normally a support for Tesla. When we have volume, when we can close over this price range, this acts like a support. For now, you can clearly see guys, our last attempt here. So we broke this level, we, we hit this level once, had a support, hit it twice. You can really perfectly see that here, how the candle wick reacted here. So we built it here, a red candle and then a wick and exactly below $181 we closed. And we had again here a pump, but since then guys, one, two, three, four, five attempts to break out back over $181. And this is a rule in trading. If you have a, a support, and the support, the price closes below the support and cannot regain back strength over this price level, guys, then this support will turn into a resistance. That means temporary. I don't talk here about the next five years, just temporary. This is our main resistance level now here for Tesla, $181. But guys, and now is the good information. So we had here the last big price move in the chart was this price action here. So we can just measure that here from $194 up to $264, we had here a price action of 36%. So what I did now, I made a Fibonacci retracement to find out where potential, yeah, potential a technical bottom or a technical rebound zone is waiting for Tesla. And very popular rebound zone is the so-called 1618 retracement, which is exactly at $149, guys. And this is where we are now. That's also the reason why I just make the video today, yeah? As I said, normally I concentrate on short squeeze stocks. So what I normally want to see is that a stock squeeze 100% or more in one day. This is what I personally call a short squeeze stock. We have, of course, here light, uh, nice squeezes. You can see that here, 20% price action for Canopy Growth. I also cover this stock on my channel. Golden Heaven Group, yeah, also 21% yesterday is also gapping up in the pre-market. Yes, guys, these are also short squeeze stocks, but the, yeah, the stocks which I also love to trade are the so-called hot stocks here on my channel. I call them the hot stocks. I upload these videos here once a week and the tickers which I present in these videos guys, they have high potential to squeeze. Nothing is guaranteed. I cannot see the future. I can just give you my prediction based on the price levels. And as I said, nothing is guaranteed, but we have a lot of squeezes already here. I started to do this video since the end of February this year, 2024. And since then we had already 11, 11 squeezes, which have more than 100%. Just last week, guys, we had three big squeezes here. One of those squeezes was 142% here in just two days. You can see this is a four hours chart. Then the next squeeze was 214% in just one day. Yeah, this was also last week, one of our hot stocks here. And the third one also last week on Monday, 116%, guys. So it is working, it is not easy to trade. Don't, uh, you know, get me wrong. It's not so easy to become rich. But trading has a lot of uh, potential and if you know how to trade, if you know how to read the technicals, then it is a very, very high potential to make you some profits out of the stock market, guys. As I said, if you want to see more, you can join in here the Elite Circle membership on my channel. The link is here in the video description or when you just go here on the main page of my channel, join membership, Mitglied werden in Deutsch, then here the Black Belt Elite Circle membership, guys, is the membership where you see these nice short squeeze plays, guys. So. Yeah, Tesla, guys. Can we see a short squeeze for Tesla? Yes or no? First of all, guys. So first of all, we're trading now here at this Fibonacci level. As I said, we have the next open gaps. So if you didn't see my previous videos, we have here these orange lines in the chart. And all these orange lines, guys, are open down gaps, which have to get filled. So the potential that Tesla is even coming more down. So we can measure that from here. So we have still at least, I mean, this is not, not said that we have the bottom there, but at least from now on, from today's price, $149, at least in future, minus 23% is very possible. We have here something like a trend channel. I will show you that in a second. But for now, to make a quick, sorry, a quick swing trade, this is one of the technical main support levels, guys. So it is very possible. You can see here in the pre-market, we, we start to trade below below this, um, this Fibonacci retracement. So this line here is the actual pre-market price. So that would mean we gap down one more time. We had here already one, two. And then with today, if we start to trade here, the stock market opens in a little bit more than one hour. 
that would mean guys we have three open gaps to the upside and also these gaps guys if tesla is not diluting the stock yeah much more then we can also close these open gaps so it is very possible that we see here a technical reaction i will draw now these gaps here in the chart for you guys and did also if we start today here at this price action then we have here three open gaps one open gap is waiting at 161 dollar this is of course already sure the second one is 153 dollar and if we start here to trade below below 148 dollar then we have again one more open gap waiting here at 148 dollar guys yeah and that does mean that is a potential um, yeah swing trade let's call it like that in my opinion if we really uh, here start to trade below 148 dollar i have honestly no doubt that we start to close this open gap here at 146 dollar and then we have of course to measure where is a potential bottom and when we see what the stock did in the past so now i will talk about this trend channel here let me enable this a little bit so then you can see this was a support trend channel so even if we had this huge sell-off here this huge sell-off back down to 101 dollar here so this huge drop here was the support guys and this is an algo trend channel why do we know that because this was the previous all-time high for tesla here in 2020 then we had a huge sell-off reaction here so here is an algo trend waiting then we gapped up here a few times and as soon as we broke over this algo trend channel here we had some points of support Tesla start to really, really squeeze hard here. As I said, more than $1,000 was possible. That's why I personally, yeah, not a financial advice, I rely on that pattern. So I would not be surprised, guys, if we see a price of $125 or even a little bit lower, something like a shakeout to close these gaps before we see a rebound, yeah? Does that need to happen now before we close the open up gaps? No, guys, but in my point of view, sooner or later, we will make a retest here back to $180. We have to retest this price back, uh, this price range one more time. We already retested it here and started to squeeze. And it would not be not surprise me if we come down, start to retest, then maybe get rejected one more time and start to open all these open down gaps in future, guys. So what does that mean? Tesla is in a downtrend. So let's enable this, uh, disable this a little bit that you can just concentrate on the downtrend channel. So that does mean, guys, that in my point of view, when we concentrate on this algo trend channel here, Tesla can come back yeah, to even to $231 is put possible based on the today's trading pattern, which we have. But this is a very, very important resistance zone here at $180. That's why I would prefer here a swing trade. If you're not a long term holder for Tesla, I would prefer here to do some swing trades here uh, and close the open gaps. Yeah, this is 10 percent. He has 23% until the $180 range. And if we, if we don't close these gaps now and just go lower here to the bottom of the trend channel, we have here a potential swing trade rating, swing trade rating of 26% or even 40%, guys. Yeah, this is how I personally would do it. Yeah, not a financial advice. So let's quickly check here the indicators in the weekly chart to check where are the resistance levels for the weekly indicators. So you can see here this huge. Also, we start to cross here with the EMA lines, the 200 day moving average. This is also very bearish, guys. Very, very bearish price action here based on those indicators. And also these indicators here saying that everything here until $180 and $191 is possible, guys. And in best case, in best case, if we see a nice spike here for Tesla, then even $208 would be able here or would be possible based on the EMA indicators, guys. Yeah, let's see how Tesla is moving. I will keep you updated here on the channel. As I said, if you don't want to miss any updates or if you need a yeah, quick chart analyze on Tesla, you can, of course, join in here. The membership, guys, also I'm using here TradingView. So everything what you see here in the chart, I will disable the, the indicators here. So if you want to copy these trend channels here, guys, these trend lines, also the open gaps, you can pause the video. And this is TradingView, guys. I recommend here to use TradingView. I'm not sponsored by TradingView, but this is my absolute favorite chart program. If you don't have TradingView yet, I can offer you a discount link here in the video description, guys. This is this link here. When you click this link, automatically $15 discount are calculated when you check out. And I always recommend to go for the plus tier, guys. This is very, very good for, for beginners and advanced traders. Also, the member videos are um, available now on Patreon. I just started here a few weeks ago. And uh, patreon.com black belt trader, when you join in here the ultimate black belt club, you also have access here to the so called hot stocks and all the other member videos, guys. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I wish you great success here with Tesla and all the other stocks. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Arigato gozaimasu. Vielen Dank. Einen schönen Abend und bis bald. Take care, guys. Bye bye.